Hey everyone, so this will be my thoughts on the top fin, tooth and fin, two gallon tank from PestSmart after a year of owning it, or almost a year of owning it here. Uh, so first let's just go over the design real fast. I personally love this design. You know, it looks like a shark, especially with the blue color. Uh, you know, so you got your, you got your top dorsal fin there. You got these really cool teeth. They go, of course, on both sides. As well as the bottom, I just can't really tell, but they are they are down here as well. Uh, you know, then it, it starts skinny and it gets fatter, just like a shark's head. Uh, just really, really cool design. This is one of my favorite design looking tanks, uh, personally. It is really cool. Uh, and what's very nice about this tank too is it has this feeder flap here, uh, which you can shut, so it's not always open. And then it only has two more slots or slits here for cords uh, everything else is shut and that means the water does not evaporate very fast from it whatsoever which is very nice uh, you know some tanks have a whole bunch of openings on the top and the water just evaporates within a couple of days you know it can be down to where this is now where this is uh at least a couple of weeks uh, so that part is super nice you're not always having to refill the tank up all right and then the filter on this is nice uh, you know, it just, uh, it just kind of sits in there. Uh, it sits on this platform. You can move it. So you can actually pick it up and get it out of the way when you're doing a water change if you want to. You can take it out. And then it just kind of sits back in there. It does a very good job at filtering the water as well. It keeps the tank pretty clean. Uh, I personally like this filter for this tank as well. Uh, the flow rate, as you can see, is not very strong whatsoever. Which, of course, means that your beta will not be getting pushed around, which, of course, is excellent in a beta tank. You know, a lot of these smart tanks have filters that are just too strong for betas and push, it, push them all around. Uh, so, I mean, I have had no issues with that filter whatsoever. Uh, I've had no issues with this tank whatsoever in the about a year that I've owned it. I uh, see the light still works. And actually, all three of them still work. I've, I bought these smaller, cheaper tanks before that have LED lights and then one of them or two of them or all of them, you know, go out within a couple of weeks of owning it or a month or two of owning it. Uh, this one I've had no issues with whatsoever. So it has this little switch here uh, along with an on and off switch. So this one, you can click it and you can change how the lighting works. All right. So for instance, I click it once here and now it should be on where it changes colors. Or be stuck on one color one or two. All right, yeah. So all the different color modes still work. So you see now it is on where it changes colors. Uh, I can't remember how many colors it has, but it has a decent amount. I want to say it's about five, somewhere between five to seven. So this mode it just changes, uh, cycles through the different colors, which is very cool. But if you want it on a certain color, you can use the switch or the button and you can just click it and then it will stay on that color it will not change that color and then if you click it one more time it will stay on the normal white lights uh, and I mean everything still works like it like it was just brand new uh, it's very nice uh, for being a cheaper tank this is a what, $23 tank something like that uh, and they seem to go on sale quite a bit uh, and it was actually growing plants in here quite well when I was using the light every day. But recently, I have not been using the lights all day because I have my window. It's right in front of the window. So I'm just letting the sunlight take care of it. And when it was on all the time every day, or when it was on every day, it was growing all my plants very well. Now I kind of let it... Wow. Well, see, now some of the plants are actually dying. But that's my fault for not having the lights on enough for... For the plants to grow, uh, still grows the moss balls and stuff. Um, but again, and, and it's and when I had it, the lights on every day for for a little while. Every day, the plants were actually growing like nuts in here. Uh, now they were just moss and moss balls, so it's nothing crazy. But it did grow the plants. Uh, you know, just very basic plants, which is very cool too for a cheap tank like this. 
Now, there's really nothing I do not like about this tank. Uh, to me, this is like a pretty much a perfect beta tank. Uh, I mean, honestly, one weird thing, of course, is because of the design, if you look at it from the front like this, it gives you a weird distorted view. So you just have to look at it from the side. But I would not say that that is any big deal. Um, and that's just grasping at straws, really. Uh, personally, there's nothing that I don't, that I really do not like about this tank. Um, I mean, it's been perfect. Uh, the betas that I had in here uh, was able to swim around very easily. Uh, you know, it wasn't being pushed around by the filter, by the current. Um, he was always able to get, to get up to the food, find the food. Uh, to me, this is like the perfect beta tank, really. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's really nothing bad about it. Like I said, that, so the things I like about it is pretty much everything. I love the design. Uh, the filter on it is awesome. It does its job, and it does not push your beta around. All the lights are very sweet. You can cycle through a whole bunch of different colors or keep it on one color or change it to this white normal color. Uh, I mean, to me, the size is good. Yeah, it's only two gallons, but because of the the way they made it, the shape of it, to me, it actually looks and seems bigger than a two-gallon tank. Uh, the one thing is it just isn't very tall. You know, it's more wide and long uh, than it is tall, but that that's no issue. You know, betas uh, don't really swim up and down. You know, they swim side the side or length of ways, or, you know, they don't swim up and down pretty much. Uh, to me, yeah, this is like a perfect beta tank. I mean, I highly recommend this tank. Um, and again, it's on sale, I believe, for around 20 bucks most of the time, it seems. It seems any time I go into PetSmart, they have this tank on sale. So yes, I would highly recommend picking up this tank for a beta. It has been very good for me. Uh, and thank you all very much for watching. And see you guys next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.